My name is Xavier, and welcome to a million skeletons taking a cool, cool, cool swim in the ocean. Nothing to see here, just a 200-foot uh, scorpion surrounded by ghouls, surrounded by skeletons. We're just, we're just gonna keep calm. These guys are getting a bit of a bad sunburn here from uh, running around out in the desert all day long. It's okay, though, because they're cooling off in the water. They'll be fine. Absolutely, lutely fine. Uh, in any event, here's the deal with this battle. We are assaulting... Who the heck are these guys again? The Thegan's Errantry, right. So Thegan himself is here. He's leading the front of the front line charge, I believe. I'm pretty sure the Gatterson's coming here from this location. Uh, because the AI thinks we're going to win, they're probably going to put all their units up front. I did briefly consider trying to charge them to crush them and then move on, but they've got something like nine cavalry in that front line. And then I thought, oh, hey, why don't we go take a swim over here and actually put our backs to the water and we'll use all five of our spearmen to make it impossible for them to use their cav correctly. So that's the plan. We're going to sit here. We'll have their cav charge in, or at least, actually, here's part of the plan. I have these hounds come out here and run around distracting half of them. And then hopefully the other half comes over here and attacks from this direction or something like that and just constantly, constantly, constantly runs up against our spearmen. Our arrows can get some shots in there while we're waiting. We've got all of our lords down here and our scorpion ready to jump out and attack. Cripcool's right behind. Uh, most of their archers are in the garrison, so I'm hoping I can whittle their, uh, what are they called, cavalry down to nothing before they get up here and can start shelling us. But... Uh, I also have all of my flying units up here, which I intend to move up and kill the catapult with, maybe one or two of the archers, and then pull them back, and then we'll attack the archers that are in the garrison thereafter. So for the most part, these guys are just going to fly around doing nothing. These hounds are just for distraction, and I'm going to let them uh, throw themselves against the walls that are my spearmen, like the ocean itself in waves crashing upon the sands. One day the ocean will win. It will rip the sands from the rocks, and there'll be nothing remaining but a giant coastline of rock. And that is my plan. All of these guys will run up, and we will slowly rip their flesh from their bones, and there'll be nothing left but a giant pile of bone rocks. God, that actually sounded kind of good. Uh, anyway, let's roll. Oh my lord, look at that. All right, hounds, let's make a run for it. Yep, look. They are indeed coming directly after my hounds. That's what I want. Uh, here's their... This is perfect, actually. I just, I just picked the side with my bats, and as it would happen, the trebuchet was actually already out there. So let's get all my bats and my carrion up there in a run move, looking good. I want this guy, this hound, really to run back here, kind of bait these guys towards us. That would be great. If they get cl too close, we'll just pull back. Uh, I realize I'm going to take a little bit of fire. Actually, you know what? I may even be out of range for that catapult, to be honest. Yeah, I am actually out of range. Okay, so that, I don't even have to worry about that catapult. That's awesome. But they got three cav on the left here, four cav in the front here, three more cav, actually two cav and one missile cav on the right. That's a lot of guys. All right, this is working out great. They're coming up. They're going to take some arrows, Cedar. Uh, why don't we... Whoa, let's watch this. This is going to be a glory. Before I forget, though, let's get my hound kind of in there so he doesn't get, get uh, destroyed. But let's watch this charge in super slow motion with no UI. Hey, guys, wouldn't you know... I got some spearmen. Oh, nice try. Nice try. Nice try. Oh, they actually realized that's a stupid move and started turning around. Now, because I, I really want to watch this, but I want my scorpion to get out there, and let's swing back in. Look at this. They're trying. They're trying as they might. My arrows are flying in here as well. All of my hounds are completely protected. This is actually completely beautiful. Let's... Let's grab you guys on the left and you guys on the right. We'll move you up really quickly, even though i got to be quick about this because they got a lot of guys here. Now's a good time to grab my flying units and go after those trebuchets. Can the trebuchets even hit me at this point? The answer is yeah, they're moving up. They're moving up slowly. They're about to be able to, but we're going to encapsulate them with our arranged units in a minute. So, all right, this is not working. So, you know what? I'm going to come back here. Uh, if, if, if we're not going to be able to surround them, then why bother, right? Why bother? Let's get all of our lords out here, at least on the front line. Our scorpion's doing a good job. We can probably speed up a little bit here. Uh, you guys can come back over to there like that on the run move. Awesome. Let's get all my lords. Uh, where's my scorpion? We'll get him back here. I didn't even assign him a group. We'll put him on control seven. Uh, okay, here they come for another move. Okay, well, if that's, if that's what they want to do. Let's go watch it one more time. Look how dumb they are. They got no option. They're trying to charge through a wall of spearmen, and they are making zero progress while being shelled by arrows. Oh, that is a beautiful sight. Beautiful sight. I'm not, I'm not distracting me with my hounds, though. Hold on. Whoa! Oh, God. I wanted to, uh... Oh, bloody hell. I don't know how to use my keybinds yet. I wanted to come out here. Let's let's go into normal mode for a little bit and see what's going on. Because I just zoomed ahead there like an idiot. Let's, uh, let's see. So this is mostly destroyed. 
which is a very interesting. They're actually coming back with their missile cav, but I'm not uh, I'm not really keen on taking damage from that missile cav. Look at this. One of their units is already broken. This one's broken as well, or broke breaking. This one's standing out here in the water. Now that's interesting because they may. Okay, I really want to make sure we do that so they can't, uh, you know, I guess we'll just charge them like that. Looks good. How are we doing over here? Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Let's get the scorpion uh, up over here because it looks like they're going to have a lot more guys on this side. We'll get all of our lords over there as well. We'll get the scorpion over there as well. Uh, my archers, do they have shots right now? Yeah, they. some of them have some shots. That's, that's what really matters. Okay, this thing's completely shattered. Let's get out of there. They've got one, two, three, four, at least missile units there, and another missile unit here. I don't want these guys taking any casualties. They've done their job. They've completely shattered the catapult. Fly away. Fly away to fight another day. Now, the problem here is they've got their archers, and I've got mine, but they have better range. They're coming up. Not a whole lot I can do about it. But my scorpion, however, my scorpion's getting in the fray. Yes, 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 yes. Get in there, Scorpion. Learn him a lesson. Oh, beautiful. Come on, let's see it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, oh, barrel roll time. Boom. Crush those horses. Now, let me zoom back here for a second, see what's going on in the rest of the battle. Uh, they are indeed... Actually, a couple of them are coming through over here. I'm going to have to pull these guys up there like that. Let's get all of my flying units and actually come back down to the battlefront here. I don't want them engaging with these missile cav uh, in any way, shape, or form for any reason. So we'll leave that alone. Lots of stuff is going on over here, but look at this. Let's grab our uh, Ark in here. Let's toss up, because this is a serious business right now. We'll toss up a Lieber... Uh, what is it? Lieber Mortis. We'll also toss up the aspect of the Dread Knight here on, you know what, these Spearmen. That is so many freaking guys, it's insane. I need these arrows uh, shooting in over there. I need all of my lords in there fighting like maniac. <gasps> I have a pendulum. I have a pendulum. I got a pendulum on my priest. I did. I did. Oh, God. Right there. Right there. I want to see it. Show me this pendulum. This is going to be glory. I'm so glad I remembered that. I almost forgot about it completely. It's going to go right through my scorpion, but watch this, guys. Watch this. Come on, Pendulum. Hey, Horus is in the ground. Boom. Oh, that was actually a pretty bad Pendulum, to be honest. I think I just slightly, like, it just it just happened to not work out that well. Uh, their archers are a major concern for me right now, so here's my plan. Grab these two guys, crush those archers. Grab these two guys, crush those archers. I know we're being chased by these missile cab, but I don't care so much. Uh, these guys are doing a good job out here taking care of these guys. Let's get all my Crypt Ghouls up here to engage. Well, no, actually not yet. Not yet. Hold the line. Hold the line, friends. You gotta hold the line here in this scenario. We're doing good over there. You guys come down and make sure that these guys get taken care of. Almost everyone over here is either broken or shattered or obliterated. Let's get back with the lords into the middle of the front line here. Uh, this is... Oh! How the hell did they get these guys? You gotta be kidding me. How did they get in there? They, like, pushed right through. That's insanity. All right, well, my scorpion's out there taking care of that for uh, um, mostly. <gasps> oh, I could, I could, okay, never mind. I was going to say I could use my death from above, but let's watch these guys land in here for a little bit, huh? Hey, friendly archers. <laughs> Looks like some carrion got you in the back there. Beautiful. That's what I want to see. Now, where's their lord? He's over here. Let's get all three of my lords and get on his lord as such. Let's simultaneously come over here and soften him up with a spirit leech or whatever the heck it is. We'll get our archers shooting up in this direction because this is an insane amount of stuff right here. This is just so much. Oh, do I have another? Uh, I do. Nine seconds. I can get another slicey dicey. How are we doing over here? So far, so good. My Crypt Ghouls are really going to be the ones who want to come out here and assassinate these men-at-arms. These guys are doing a fantastic job, these Spearmen, at holding this line. That is exactly what I want them to do. Let's get back into formation. Uh, in fact, one of them I kind of want to go right there. Awesome. Are they going to get any guys up here any second now? Pretty soon, yes, but not quite yet. We want to pull out of here before these guys get... Uh, it's shut down. My scorpion's doing a great job. Let's grab him and come back over there for a little bit. Again, I need to get all of my lords up here on their lord. Oh, God. I think only my lich priest is in there, which is very, very, very dangerous. Their lord has come in here, and I kind of need to get out of there. Like, right now, we're taking a beating. We're taking a beating. Let's fly back. I hope I can even get out of there. Uh, I probably should be able to. Can I cast another Book of Libra Mortis? No. I could cast up a fear there. Maybe that'll help us get out. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, back over in this direction, though. Let's make sure all three of you guys are working over there. And it's time to get my Crypt Ghouls engaged. Get you guys over there. Awesome. You guys charge up there. Fantastic. You guys are uh, shooting over there. Fine. You Spearmen, don't let these guys charge my Hounds from the side. Let's get these Crypt Ghouls over there. This is looking very good. These Archers, you know what, to shoot over at the Halberdiers. 
Uh, my Scorpion's doing okay, but I would prefer if he actually came back here and took a little bit less damage. Let's make sure all of the bats now... Where the heck are they? Group 5? Pull them back over here someplace. I just want them all out of this... Oh, no, 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 no. I want them all over here, and especially I want the Carrion. This is perfect. I want them to fly right over all of these arrow guys and start making them move. That's what I want my bats to do. That'll be absolutely ideal for my scenario. Now, oh god, my Lich Priest is super low. I did notice that before. Uh, yep, let's toss this up here. We'll do whatever this ability is right now. Fantastic. Let's toss up a little bit of the old pendulum right like that. Well, we have an opportunity. We gotta get in there. Oh my god, we're crumbling with the Lich Priest. Come on, cast it, cast it, cast it. There we go. Get out, get out, get out. He should not have taken that much damage. Run, 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 run. Run out of the way. Nice. There goes a lot of their... Oh, damn it. I lost my Lich Priest and I lost him. Fast! That sucks. Vegan just killed my guy. But, back over here for my Canarian really quick. Uh, you know what? Actually, can the Canarian go into bomb no mode? No, I think they're stuck in melee. Oh, bloody hell, I hate this bug. So what's happening here is like one or two bats are stuck. So these bats are like, oh, go over here. Nope, come back. There's one guy stuck. Nope, come back over here. Nope, there's a guy stuck. Come back over here. They just do the same thing over and over and over again. It's so frustrating. Come on, guys. Take off. Oh, whatever. They're all dead. They're all dead. Write them off. <laughs> They're done. Don't worry about it. Okay, now it might be time to get the hounds out of here. Uh, let's get you hounds over there. Awesome. You hounds over there. These crypt ghouls getting there. Spearman get over here. Awesome. Crypt ghouls are doing a good job there. You guys come up there. Fantastic. Can't believe I lost my Lich Priest. That sucks. Scorpion's doing okay over there against these guys. My Canarian take off yet? I think the answer is no, because I still can't cast my ability. One of them is down here stuck. Like, this one guy is breaking the entire, the entire unit. I may be able to get him up. No, nah, he's stuck. Once he dies, then I'll actually have control of my unit, oddly enough, but whatever. Uh, let's get all these hounds now, because they can get wrecked by these cavs pretty fast. Let's get them up there. I don't even want... Oh, nice. These guys just shattered. Uh, these guys come up there. Fantastic. You guys work on those missile archers, and you guys work on those missile archers. Back over here, uh, let's do a bit of the old... This thing, the Mortars, to help out everybody. We'll do another buff here on those Spearmen for Terror, which is looking pretty good. Let's get you guys actually up there, and my Scorpion right into the thick of things right up there. And this is now looking very good. You're over there. How's my Canarian doing? Have they taken off yet? Uh, yes, actually, and look at this. Woo, let's look at it. Bombs away. Oh, well, yeah, that, that worked. I, I hit most of them. I hit most of them. Death from above, as they say. Death from above. Now, this is really what's going to shut down all of their arches. The carrion over there. Let's get this hound heater uh, up over in that direction. And this hound heater up over in that direction. This is working. Sort of. It's very close. Very close. Uh, but it's working. It's working. These guys are really busy here. You guys get into the front line. Into the front line. Everybody just get in there and start wailing on them. And let's come back over here. See what's going on. You guys are arrows. You know what? Let's come over here with you really quick. Crypt ghouls, get on up there. Just attack anyone you can see. Attack. Attack. Are they actually going to try to go for a charge on my missile cav right here? I think they actually might, believe it or not. Let's do another speeder leech here on Baron Thegan. He's a little bit crazy in terms of uh, never dying, it would seem. But let's start shelling these guys now from that direction. He's, well, you know what? I suppose they could keep shooting those mounted archers. Nah, we're better off just shooting into the thicket here. Let's do that. Let's make sure my skelling or my scorpions in the thick. He it sort of is. Let's move him up there though. He'd be a lot better off in that location. Now let's get my tomb prince over here because he's a great melee character. He should be attacking the Baron. Absolutely, rather than using a caster to do that. Back up in this direction. Nice, 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 nice. Look at this. Our bats are in. Our hounds are in. They're being pursued by the calves, so our hounds will almost assuredly die. Nice. These bats have broken those guys. Let's have them move up and attack these guys. I mean, no, I don't actually, that was not correct. They're, they're, um, these are carrions attacking a... Bowman, they need to keep doing that. It, I just misread that because I saw this yeoman here driving by who is shattered, and that's something else completely. Uh, yeah, we're getting a little bit charged in the back, but it's okay. They're doing a great job keeping their archers uh, off of uh, hurting me, which is really what I need them to do. Uh, so let's come back over here to make sure all our archers now, because I think they were shooting some other guys for a little while. You know what? Let's let's have them focus up on their missile cap. That's a good thing. These two guys are looking great. How are we doing down here? The Baron's getting weaker, that's for sure. And my Tomb Knight has indeed come in. And my Ushabti are heater, guys. They are heater. Okay, let me um let me cast them like right heater in that direction. Beautiful. How are we doing out here? Everyone's pretty much running. Everything's pretty much broken. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Ushabti are coming in. 
I really am too scared to, like, unslow motion right now because there's so many things in so many directions. And I also feel like it's really interesting to watch all this stuff unfold. This Spinnerman's sitting there doing nothing. We should probably get him up in the front line. Back to my Lord really quick. Do we have the mana to cast Aspect of the Dread Knight? We do. Put that right there and get another AoE aura right there. How are my Scorpions doing? Scorpion, rather. I don't even see him. Uh, he's in there someplace. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. I did it. I think. Yes. Woo! Oakley dokely now That's pretty good. I, if I don't say so myself, because, you know, nothing says you're the best like telling yourself you're the best. Uh, so that being said, let's make sure all of these, before I unpause it here, I want to make sure every individual unit I can find is being chased down to extinction. That way they actually don't appear, because they attacked us in this little thing here. So we really need to make sure if there's any other units I can use to do some good here. Uh, we want to do that. I actually do not want to attack or kill their lord. Let's leave him alone. I want him to be at low health specifically. All of you guys get up there. All of you guys get over there. Or Scorpion, get up there. And there we go. Now we can speed up. Okay. Oh, hounds. You need to go somewhere. Go, go chase down some of these guys. I don't know. Okay, wait. These hounds, you could chase down those guys. You know what? These hounds could chase down the Helverdeers, maybe? These hounds can, can kill that unit entirely. Very important to eradicate these because I need to win handedly uh, or be cap capable of winning handedly in the next round because I still have to siege this guy and kill all his units. It's not going to be like the easiest thing in the world. Where are these units going to go after this? I don't know. We'll fall back this way. We'll just find another one. Let's come over there. This is what where the hounds and the bats are really good at just chasing stuff down. Chase it down. Can't even finish that off. Beautiful. Bats finishing that off. Beautiful. Where did my other... Oh! I must have... Oh, no, here they are. They just weren't in a group, that's all. And these guys are there chasing those halberdiers. That is a beautiful sight. You guys finish off that. I did lose, apparently, one bat. I lost my Lich Priest, but it's partly my own fault, because I saw him very early on, and I was like, Oh, my Lich Priest. I can't let him fight that guy. And then I let him fight the guy, and ten seconds later, he was dead. I mean, that's, you know, that's pretty par for the course when it comes to... My lack of attention, I, I would say. So what's the next thing we're going to have to reassign? Probably over here? What do you mean a unit has been wiped out? Just now? Oh, my Ushabti probably expired from time. I really wish these cannery in here would finish up that unit, so I don't have to worry about it so much. Okay, these bats, I think they're off the map. Let's fly back and find something else. One of you guys, good. I know this is like really micromanaging and not the most exciting thing, but it's very important that this actually happens. Get the hounds over there, great. Uh, y come on. Hounds, come up there. Great. Uh, the Carrion, will you guys finish off that archer? Looks like actually, yes. He's nowhere near off, off the map. Actually, yes. I think. Well, no, there's a whole bunch of them down there, to be honest, so maybe not. Maybe not. So a couple of them will get away, but for the most part, I th think we're going to crush a lot. We really ran these guys down. Really ran them down, I feel. Uh, some hounds are sitting here doing nothing. Let's get them up there. Beautiful. These guys are off the map. I don't think we'll be able to do much against them, but we could come back here and ensure that this thing gets killed. These guys look like they're... Nope, actually, they're not done, believe it or not. These carrion have been up here forever trying to kill these, like, nine archers. I don't know why they're not doing a better job of it. There's still ten of them left. I want that unit dead. Come on, carrion. Come on. Finish it up. Five. Don't let them get off the map. Beautiful. I think we got them all. Maybe. I'm not really sure. Whew. Okay. Well, aside from losing my Lich Priest, which does suck, uh, I lost a bat. And that was it. We That was just so beautiful, watching them in slow motion with their 10 cav ram themselves headlong into a wall. They could do nothing about it. Also, note that my hounds got 300 kills apiece, even though... All they did that battle was sit behind the front lines for like 95% of it and then chase people down once I had already won. But still, killing those 600 people means... What does it mean, actually? Um, $439 here. So he deployed 2200, he lost 1740. That is extreme. Like, imagine if my hounds did not get those 600 kills. We would have been down to like... 1140 that he would have lost, which would have actually have doubled the amount of guys he would have had remaining. And that means he may have had a half-decent chance to kill me, or he could have held out in the siege. 
So th those guys really ensured that all of these things got com completely evaporated. Just so many things got completely evaporated. Uh, also, both of their lords were not killed, which is very important because they won't get a new fresh one. I thought I actually wiped out the field trebuchet, but I guess not. I guess they broke and just ran off the map or shattered. So yeah, uh, we got two bowmen here. We got one, two, two, two. That's it? We only got two of the cav that were completely obliterated. All the rest of them ran off the map. All of their melee is gone. So if we have to fight them again, we're looking at a catapult and a bunch of half-dead horses. And like two pathetic archers. Whew. All right, that was actually really, really, really good, I think. I did lose a bat. That's too bad. I just wish I didn't make that one mistake with my Lich Priest. I saw it, too, like, right at the beginning. I'm like, ah, eh, he'll be all right. I'll just send my two guys over there. Nope. They never got there, and he just got evaporated. Uh, oh, well. $900 in the treasury and um, movement speed. Not bad. Not bad at all. Plus, it was just a cool, like a really cool cinematic battle. It felt like a fun day at the beach. Or at least the closest I'm ever going to get to it. Killed in battle, Remek. Ah, oh, poor guy. He didn't deserve it. He didn't deserve it. None. Uh, that being said... Time to die. Yeah, exactly. Arkin's not very happy about this delay here. Um... Evasion would not be bad. Oh, Skeletal Steed. Let's get the always the steeds for me. I love them. I don't even think about it. I just take them. I like to be able to move around. Uh, that being said, we, we still can't siege though, right? Yeah, because I need to actually build a trebuchet. So we'll continue that. And you take me for a child. I believe that's actually it. Nope, Sorceress Islands can upgrade here. We'll do that. Another carrion. Now we're done. That was a quick turn. All right, you think he'll attack me again? I don't think so, because he's only got like 400 guys, and I've got like 11. If he had like 1,200 and I had 11, maybe. I'm not sure I really needed my hound outside the formation as a just distraction or not. I don't know if that baited him into attacking me, or... If he would have done the same thing, even if I hadn't done that, but... Mission six... Oh, hold on. On the Conqueror's Eternal Service. We've made a great discovery. During our course of our excavations, re remains of the army that once served El Kadizar. El Kadizar? El Kadizar, I guess. I don't know. The Conqueror, the last and maybe the greatest of all the priest kings of Nekahara. Nehekara, maybe. I've been on Earth. All right, so do we ritual burial him for 15 leadership for 10 turns and replenishment, or 40 jars? Well, I don't think I really need leadership for the next 10 turns. I will take the jars. Well, yes, because I can't even get replenishments here right now. So let's go for the jars. Mission issued. Maintain a total of eight units of the following type. Spearman warriors. All right, I can do that pretty easy. Not right now, but soon. Actually, yeah, I could actually do it right now if I just crush these guys. Uh, let's build up a little bit here. The Wizard at Caliph's Palace is number one, 2880. Beautiful. Uh, and it... Mm, yeah, once that's done in four turns... Okay, so for right now, I should probably switch this over because I just, just put in my construction cost. What else can I do here? Well, in two turns, I'm going to get a new dynasty. So is it worth... Hmm. I don't know what to do, actually. Um, maybe just a turn of growth. I mean, I really do not... I guess the, I'm going to lose the tax. The tax rates are relevant. Let's just go for the turn of growth, I suppose. And otherwise, it's time to finish this there, the Fegan, as it were. It's time to finish him. Really? Huh. Let's give this banner of leadership to... You know what? I don't even know who to give it to. Probably... We'll give it to Arkin. Spread it out a little bit. Okay, so they, they're they almost dead. Banner and Thegan's almost dead. They've got... Oh, they lost all... Oh, they combined all their horses. They didn't lose them. They combined them. So they've got three full ones now. I don't understand how the game thinks that they're going to have any chance. Because the... Oh, whoops. I just, I just punched the microphone into my face. That was awesome. I mean, the only things they can have on the walls are one men-at-arms and two, like, two archers. Like, I, 
Curses. We're gonna crush them. And then we'll we'll own the walls and we can do as we please. Like it's gonna be ridiculous, but let's go do it. Alright, this looks as good as anything. I'm basically just gonna st start and attack like a madman. Let's go. Oh, you know what? I guess it doesn't really matter. Just get in there. All of you guys come up here to attack that door. Fantastic. Let's get these archers up here shooting their archers. Beautiful. I think I want all my bats probably to just land up here directly on their archer over there in that direction. I'm a little bit worried my houses are going to sit here getting shelled, but we'll see how that works out uh, soon. Very soon. Let us watch the approach from over here. Oh, look at this. My towers are like ginormous mummy tombs, which is pretty cool. What are you guys doing? There we go. Yeah, they're shelling. They're shelling. No surprises there. That's what they should be doing. My scorpion's uh, attacking the gates here. It looks like Arkin's already at the gates. This guy's a madman. Bats are flying in. My hounds are actually not getting shot. I thought they would, but oh well. It's fine by me if they don't want to shoot my hounds. I don't really know what to do with my death from above in this instance. Ladders are going up. Oh, here is a sightly sightly thing to behold. Hey, guys. Oh, no. I might be shooting my own guys there with the archers. Let's switch over here and shoot the men at arms with them. But look how fast these stupid archers. Peasant Bowman just getting obliterated by bats and carrion. Absolutely obliterated. Meanwhile, are we in the walls here yet? Not quite. Oh, actually, can I speed at each Baron Vegan through the wall? That's so... I, like, peeked under the under the floor, and I'm like, yoink, spell in your foot, and he's like, dead. Oh, that's so cheap. That is so cheap for him. Just dies instantly. Uh, all of my... No, we're, not, we're still not done breaking this unit yet. I was going to say, they're nope, they're done. They're completely shattered. Let's come over here now and attack the other archers. Looks like we got through the front door. Let's come on in. Let's come on in and find the first thing we can find and attack it like madmen. Looks good to me. All my ranged units here, at least they should be coming over attacking these archers. That's what I wanted. My archers, on the other hand, are busy moving up. Good. We've shattered this guy here as well. So we may as well just charge down and attack the nearest thing. This is kind of a joke. All of you spearmen get up on in there as well. Hounds can come in now. I don't know if they took any damage or not, but either way. Let's go watch the scorpion have a fun time, shall we? Oh, look at he's just eating a horse. I zoom in right at the perfect time. Yes. There, that's what I like to see. Come on, guys. Amazing. He chomped and all the horses like reacted. Not one of them got hit there. Oh, that guy got knocked off, though. Wonderful. Oh, my lord. Right through the hay bales. Hey, is that one of those things that Altair would use to, like, jump into from the from the spires? Like, way up there to climb that building and then just jump into a little, little haystack over there? Is that why they added that? Make it easier to make Assassin's Creed games? Just share assets? Uh, let's grab all of my range units, and let's fly in here uh, and attack their catapults. Looks like we're pretty good up here. These guys are doing great. My archers can come in here and take them as well. What else is there to even worry about? I guess my spearmen here can take care of their paladin. Maybe. I guess we'll see if that's actually true. Both of you guys come over there. I may be able to take Arkan here and speeder at leech their paladin. Oh, my lord! Yes, from across the map. Look at Arkin shooting Spirit Leech down at these hounds here. Oh, poor guys. They're, they're tasked with a really serious tough guy. It's going to be hard to kill him. He's just going to shield and hearth before he freaking dies. So what are you going to do, right? I guess there's en enough hounds that <laughs> maybe they'll just chain interrupt him. He won't get the chance. I don't know. Let's move down here. Oh, oh I was going to do my um, I was going to do my pendulum, but then I realized I don't have my pendulum anymore, unfortunately. Where did all my bats go? Like, honestly. What are they doing over here? I told them like four times to come in here and attack this this guy. Oh, you know what? Maybe they were attacking these archers. That's a good thing. We'll let them do that. Their paladin is broken now. These things are broken. This guy's broken. Pretty much everything's broken. As soon as these guys come in here, we're, we're done. Yep, that thing's broken as well. All right, well, that's the end of Baron Vegan. Bam! He survived for like three episodes. I'm like, oh my lord. Unlike Carl Franz, who survived for like 10 million episodes. I really wish those things just got crushed and they animated like being splattered underneath the scorpion. Oh, 
What a way to end it. Boom. What a way to end it. Thanks for the lands, Batron. I'll be sure to, uh... When Assassin's Creed, like, Tomb Kings come out, I'll be sure to jump up here. God, that would be so freaking terrifying. Look at that. Where, where's the hay bale we jump into, though? I don't see it. Oh, is that it right there? It's like, whew. No, it's a pile of dirt. Well, you guys get the idea. It's a done. 56 losses? Wow. That's kind of a joke. <laughs> Although my favorite part was peeking under the door and just spirit leeching Baron Thegan's toe. I'm like, bam! No toe for you. And he just, like, falls over. Foibles over. And becomes one with the desert sands. Victory. Yeah. Really? Only 442. We're gonna go for an Occupy here. Faction destroyed! Okay. For some reason I thought they weren't gonna get destroyed there, but... I suppose they always were. We've got now three of these territories. The only one that remains is actually Phyrus. And... Am I even at war with anybody? No, the dwarves are down here. Let me take a look here at the diplomacy screen. Where is the diplomacy screen? I always get confused. It's down here. The dwarves have three settlements. Okay, so I can see all of them. Suddenberg has two. And the Rakaf dynasty has two. So I can see... One... Oh, is that a... Is that a skull? No, it's just a shipwreck. So I can see his, his capital is here with wine. That's probably the next best target because I can easily colonize the ruins. I get the wine. I get the elven colony as well. I don't know what El Calabad is or where it is. I honestly have no idea, but that probably makes the most sense. The dwarves? The, the dwarves make no sense to me because I won't be able to attack them. Plus, wasn't I mildly friendly with them? Yeah, they didn't seem to care that I killed uh, the Bataran, oddly enough. I thought that they would care more than they did. But we've narrowly avoided war with them, it seems. All right. Uh, another option would be to come down here and attack the Black Tower of Ar- I mean, it is- I am Arkin. I mean, this is my tower, so why the heck these guys are in it, I, who knows. Plus, there's a book over- is that a book? No. There's a book in these Dwarven lands, but that's just gonna have to wait, because I can't attack Dwarves right now. Where's the other nearest book? Way down here. And that's it, it looks like. Okay. Well... I guess I should continue on to Phyrus, and then... I'm just gonna be so far away. Maybe my second army in two turns will come down here, colonize the ruins, and march on Suddenburg. That makes some sense. I did have a mission to get eight spearmen and swordsmen, but I cannot fit them in the army. Can I re-recruit my Lich Priest? Yes, I can. Ratik. Let's get, um... I forget which one was which. I think it was Death, though. Is that the one with the Vortex? That is the one that I want. Generates two jars per turn. Unit experience plus one for all unit recruits. That sounds very good for actually my other one. Maybe I should wait on this. And give it to the other guy. And then he, with the uh, experience we can get in two turns, he'll have everything will be recruited at plus two. <laughs> So with that being the case, what do we want to recruit here? Oh, I can get... I can get... Apparently they had horsemen here. Now, I'm not a big fan of these horsemen, per se, but this does give me the option to get the stalkers pretty soon, so I guess I should hold on to that. But then that means I can't get archers. I'm really going to have an issue with order very soon. Maybe I'll just level up Kofor and build a tower there or something. I'm not sure. Either way, we're going to have to sit here for a little bit... Actually, we're not going to sit there for a little bit. We're, we're pretty much fine to move on the next place. So, with that being said, let's get a couple of swordsmen. Or, you know what? I'll get some horsemen. I mean, they're not the best. But they, they'll have some use. So, we'll grab two of them, and then we'll move on fighters next turn. I can't move this turn anyway. And I don't think I can build anything else. Pretty sure. Nope. And nope. So, let us continue. All right. That was a productive, productive turn.
Oh, really? King Hakor. Really? Those who serve the great necromancer. He moved into my lands and started raiding. And these guys, the Knights of Oriogo, desperately seeking some Oreos, apparently, mad that we cut off their supply, uh, are declaring war on us. I never would have... I just... I could not have predicted that. Like... Obviously, I'm coming after him, but it doesn't make any sense, I don't think, from his perspective to declare war on me. What, what does he gain from that? No idea. Trait gained. Strict. Arkin the Black. All right. We got double promotions here. Ooh. Assyrian, the god of the underworld. Casual... 15 replenishment. 15 missile... Oh, that's for Casket of Souls units. Okay. What, what's Vengeful? Are these... Are these... Um, no, they do not appear to be separate from each other. I want this replenishment. That plus this, that's that's 35% replenishment just from this one lord. I don't think you can go wrong with that. The Falling cur Curse, disabled of hit points greater than... I hate these curses at less than 50% because it seems like you're just going to die. If you ever get that low, you're just going to die almost immediately. Uh, I will do the Assyrian, the god of the underworld. It looks fantastic. All right, that being the case... Ah, we can finally rename Prince Berecht. Let's rename him to Wu Ten. Welcome, melee expert Wu Ten, to the clan. Let's go for Assault of the Blade Master variety. Okay. I got a full stack. This guy has five warriors, five spearmen, four archers, two chariots, and probably three something else's. I don't know. He's not a major player, I don't think, though. Dark so he probably doesn't have, like, a scorpion or a sphinx or anything like that. What can I do about, against his chariots? Submit Let me take a look at their stats. King. Melee defense 24, armor 50. They're pretty strong. My ah, my horsemen actually might be able to... not kill them at all. Maybe. If they engage them with melee. I don't know. My hounds? Not really... Those are some heavily armored chariots. I'm not sure how I want to take down those things. He's also got more archers, but I have more flying units. I can just take those down. I think I can kill him, and he's raiding me. And I really don't like that at all. Even though, I, And I have to go this general direction anyway, but then I'm going to be caught up in the pools. Maybe I should just ignore him. How long would it take me to get to Fyrus? Well, if I marched, we could get up to here. And I, mm, I think I could, well, I'd have to march the next turn. So we could not do that this turn. So basically, I am indeed going to attack this doofus because he took it upon himself to start raiding me. Am I at war with him? No, I'm not. Really, that guy's just a total jerk. We hate him. I need to upgrade one of these towns. Why don't we go for, you know what, we'll, we'll upgrade this one so I can get the, the warriors. That's 2,000 there, and then I can also build a monument there to really help out with the order. Actually, you know what? I need to... They all have resources I need to build. I forgot about that. That is so tough. It's so weird, because they have some nice buildings I want. They have ports. They all have resources, and I desperately need order, too, on top of all of that. What a weird situation to be in. Over here, we're looking at nothing. Next turn, I'll have a new army that I can raise up. So it probably makes sense to switch over here uh, to... Recruitment, construction costs, unit experience plus one for all recruits. We'll do that. We'll grab all those guys next turn. I'll throw in a Lich Priest there as well. The one who gives us... Wait, where was it? Lich Priest? That's... Did they change? Because I could have sworn there was one here who was going to give us... Uh, plus experience. Aggressive charge bonus and weapon. Why would you want an aggressive Lich Priest? Like, that's... Huh. I think they did change, and now I can't do my little plan. I guess I should have recruited them last turn. There was no reason not to. So, that's unfortunate. All right. Well, maybe they'll change again next turn, and I'll get a good one. But I suppose for right now, that is the turn, and probably the episode, because we have a little bit of a fight on our hands. Just a little bit. It is time to obliterate... Uh, yes. Yes, I do want to attack them. We're going to obliterate King Hakor. 
of the Rakaf dynasty, who, by the way, is in possession of my town. Like, just, just get on up out of my town, King Hakor. Get on up out of my town. Wow. 50-50. Well, more like 45-55, it looks like. I wish I just gave you numbers. Like, come on. Just, just, just show me the number. <laughs> uh, but regardless, they have really terrible units. Like, they're just... Well, they're not terrible. They're just generic. Like, they have a lot of generic units, which opens the opportunity for me to outplay them. So how would I outplay them? Well, I make a wall, and I stand there. My my crypt ghouls should out-damage him, right? I should be able to out-terror him. I don't know what King Hakor himself can do. It looks like he has plus five melee defense and attack around, around self-constant. Okay. Uh, the curse. Yeah, none of this really matters. Anti-infantry, armor and shield, and melee expert. Okay. I think we'll try to sick uh, Wu-Ten and uh, Arkin the Black on their king. All my front lines hold his front lines at bay. My three flying units try to bomb his archers or whatever. His chariots are going to be the biggest problem. I'll probably have to dedicate my tomb scorpion to weakening them, and maybe we can finish them off with double hounds or something. I mean, they're really weak against armor, and his chariots are just so well armored. I don't know what to say about that. My hounds could also perhaps deal with the archers, and maybe my carrion here. Very fast armor piercing. Maybe I sick them on the chariots. Along with my scorpion and the hounds go to deal with the, the archers somehow. I don't know. It's going to be an interesting one. Because he's got more melee. He's going to beat me in a sustained fight. So I can't just sit there forever. I'm going to have to uh, hold him off. Kill his archers and his, and his uh, chariots. But once that's done, I can repeatedly, repeatedly flank him in the back with my hounds and my horsemen. And then just feeder him to death with my uh, scorpion and my spells and whatnot. So... Also, I have... No, I don't have my pendulum. Bloody hell, that sucks. I wish I didn't lose my Lich Breeze. Oh, well. What are you going to do? Anywho, when's we returning? A Tomb King on Tomb King battle in the high deserts at noon. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. And all the horses, like, reacted. Not one of them got hit there. Oh, that guy got knocked off, though. Wonderful. Oh my lord. Right through the hay bales. Hey, is that one of those things that Altair would use to like jump into from the from the spires? Like way up there to climb that building and then just jump into a little little haystack over there? Is that why they added that?